It is January in our Billionaire series. That means this is the month we get to make a bunch of money. So max value is 745000 Current value is seven fifty seven above that. So obviously, I think we're going to get to selling right away. Our silage primarily is what we are selling here for $748,000 right now. That is above the estimated max value. I'm going to take it. So we're going to sell as much as we can right to the biogas plant. That's just very close. That's going to be very easy. And we're going to get right away started on it here. Now, as we are working on this today, I've got a couple things to talk about with you guys. Okay. They're going to be related to uh, real life and just kind of some behind the scenes of the channel. So um, lately, there haven't been uh, a steady amount of videos on the channel, and I, I apologize for that. Uh, lately, I've been having some teeth trouble, and long story short, I'm going to the dentist to get my wisdom teeth pulled. No biggie. It'll be a quick, easy thing for him to take care of. But there's been a bit of pain beforehand, and there will be a, you know, a bit of a recovery period afterhand. Nothing too crazy. But it's been those sorts of uh, medical things that have just been causing some delays here. So I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on on that front and that I'm just getting some work done. I got to be at the dentist at 8 in the morning tomorrow. It is 8 p.m. right now. Oh, boy. We better hurry. So we've got a bunch of bales ready to roll. And we're going to get started loading them right away. I talked about leaving the time on the times 15. I really am tempted to slow it down for the time that we have to sell here. But I'm not going to. I'm going to let the time move forward. We have four days of January. I'm sure it's going to be fine. In fact, if we waited, we might even get better prices. Who knows? We might not. I'm not going to play the if game, and I'm going to take a good price now. Now, a couple other topics on the channel. Uh, with the fact that I'm going to be getting the dentistry work done, I'm going to focus on doing some of the building series. So do be commenting some ideas of what you want to see built down below. I know a lot of people commented their ideas on our very first episode where we built the chicken confinement, and I will be taking some of your ideas from the comments like that. Like episode two is going to be one of your ideas out of the comments and three and four and so on. You get the idea. So what I'll do is probably record the actual build and then voice over afterwards when I'm not in pain. Um, I think that'll be a, a good way to make sure that we're still working on stuff and be able to get you guys videos, uh, but I'll just have to do the voiceover after. And now uh, the next thing is, would you guys be interested in me doing more multiplayer content like I've done in the past with Grant and Buck and Austin, Clutch, you know, whoever you want to, to throw in the list. King, of course, a classic, but whoever we, you know, tend to do content with or could do content with, if you want me to do more multiplayer stuff, say moving forward in 2025, like for uh, for Farm Sim 25, these bales are a different size. Ooga booga. I got to go over here and get the other bales. Hold on. Then yeah, let me know because we can do some uh, multiplayer here in the next game. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But I do need to know, because if you guys want me to do that, I have to, well, long story short, get an office so I have good enough internet. <laughs> um, I live in the country, and uh, the internet I have is better than I've ever thought I would get in the country at this location. I remember when I tried to play Grand Theft Auto V when it first came out, um, my internet speed was, and I remember, 0 0.7 and 0.3. So needless to say, I could not play online. And that was a bit heartbreaking. But yeah, so if, I, if you do want multiplayer content, long story short, let me know so I can make sure to get an office set up in time for it so we can do all the videos. What? You're another size again. Your mother disowns you. That's fine. We're like only a few bales off. I'll go sell this load and then come pick you up later, okay? Me and them bales, we got a movie date. <laughs> I like this setup though. We got the two barns here. We got the big grass field. Now, you guys have requested that we do more than just the grass. Now, here's the thing. If we were trying to get a billion dollars and if we were trying to make our method more efficient, we would continue doing grass. However, I agree. I my my own sanity, we we got to add something else. So, the next kind of uh, section we're going to add is going to be a harvestable crop with like a combine or something like that, most likely. We'll look into other alternatives. I won't rule anything out. Maybe we'll do more greenhouse work. I don't know. No idea. But it is going to be something a little different. However, the reason I'm willing to do that is because, as is our silage operation, uh, currently makes us over $700,000 a year. I'd say that's successful for that 
two for those two fields we made one field in one year it's making us over seven hundred thousand dollars that is a good business to me and um i'm happy with its production rate there we might add a couple other grass fields nearby but that would be all okay does this thing not go back down hello oh i have to tell it to I see. But I guess also do be in the comments telling me what you think we should invest in for our next crop, our next focus, whatever it may be. Whatever part of this game that is kind of like a base game or at least from the mod hub and doesn't break the game, what what should we focus on next? We should get this sheep expanded. That should be uh, one of the parts of our priority list, but we'll get there. <laughs> Not supported! You know who else isn't supported? Your mom! I don't want to fight those bales, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to chuck them back into the barn, and we're going to cry later tonight, okay? The crying is unrelated, or maybe it is related. You decide. Let's try this barn. This barn should have a pretty consistent bale size that I can use. I didn't use any of the weird ones with this barn, I don't think. I'm going to have to make sure all the bale sizes are a size I can use. Oopsies. We'll fix it with the baler next time. By the way, 700 some thousand dollars is what we're looking to bring in. I currently owe, if I can find the page, $400,000 in a loan. So we probably will be paying our loan off, leaving us with a couple hundred thousand dollars. After we make a few investments and all, you know, we'll still be sitting all right. But I'm going to continue getting loads of these over to the biogas plant until it tells me that somebody else wants to buy them. And then we have to go there. So until we tune in, I'll talk to you all in a second. All right, y'all, we have dropped off the maximum amount, more or less, at biogas. Well, not the maximum amount, but they've gotten to the point where we have two full stacks sitting there waiting to be fully purchased. That's why our value is going up slowly in the top right corner. So what that means is we could either continue waiting on uh, those stacks to deplete so I could put new ones. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and look at the value at another sale location. And we're going to... Ooh, hey, you're missing your wrap, Bubba. And we're going to uh, take it and sell it there, most likely. Let's at least get it loaded up. Regardless, we know we need to do that. While we're doing that, we know biogas plant is the best place. But where are some other options? Let's take a gander. The animal dealer for just under. I'll take it. Okay, we have another full load. I'm going to run over and check on biogas. But if it is still full, which it likely is, we're going to go to animal dealer. But it is uh, just coming up on 3 o'clock. We have almost $400,000 in the bank account now. So we are making good money. It's steadily rising. Usually we watch it steadily drop when we hire workers. So this is a nice change of pace. And yes, look, two completely full bins. They One on down there on that end might need to be pushed over a little. I don't know if it's going to get all the bales. But we can give them a little shove if we have to later. So clearly this one is not going to take any more of my bales right now. I'm going to go ahead and just sell to the animal dealer. Awkward when you make so much product off of two field or one field essentially that uh, the local guy is like, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want to buy it right now. You got to wait. <laughs> well, what do you mean you don't want to buy it? This is the time to buy it. I'm trying to sell it. Now you buy it. No, I'm not buying it. Oh! If you wanted a dramatic reenactment of uh, the conversation that me and the guy at the biogas plant had, there you go. What? Brother, I look at that piece of land right there every single time and say, I want to buy it. And I never do because it's overpriced. One of these days when we have enough money, I'm going to buy that piece of land, darn it. I don't know why, but I guess now it's a dream. I mean, technically, we are going to buy the piece of land because the other part of this goal, which some of you may have forgotten, but I haven't. I'm sure neither have you. It's that we have to buy all of the land on this map as well. So not only do we have to become a billionaire, we got to own everything. We're playing kind of sort of Monopoly. Side note, I would really like to figure out how to make rules for Farm Sim Monopoly. That would be awesome. But I'll get there, I promise. Oopsies. Oh, I accidentally thought I was going to the biogas plant. Yep, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait! Oh, I tried to turn around at the field I told myself I'm not buying. Ah, oh, I don't need it that bad, Jake. <laughs> Just for fun, real quick. Real, real quick. No, it ain't gonna hurt nothing but a chicken wing. Oh gosh. Wait, we almost ran into me familia. We can't have that. Let me just find out. What is she worth? 140? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, oh, never mind. That ain't great. But it ain't bad, but it ain't great. Okay, I was trying to make it sound okay, but it's really not. <laughs> we got 443,000 and climbing, of course. So it's going well for us so far. The sale at an animal house almost <laughs> is what I said. The sale at the animal dealer. Why? Are we, what is with these? What is with these spawning ones? There we go. 
go. That's better. It sold right away up there, so we should be able to get another one or two sold right away before they shut me off as well. But by that point in time, I'm hoping to be able to go back over to biogas. If not, we have four days. It's not the end of the world. We almost have all of it sold day one. I would argue half. Well, how many? I don't know. I don't know how much. Let's look. We were at like 750,000 ish. I wasn't so blind. And now we're at 586,000 ish, 570,000 ish. So, yeah, we're not quite half, I guess. But that's a kind of a good thing? Question mark? Maybe quite, you know? We still have a lot to sell, and that means we have a lot of money to make. Hmm? It's a good problem to have. Before we go back to the animal dealer, I just, <laughs> okay, they're still there. We can go ahead and turn around. Just wanted to double check, but they hadn't made any progress. <laughs> Off to the animal dealer here tonight. Before the sun sets, hopefully we'll get there. And hopefully before the sun sets, we might be able to push ourselves close to 500 or maybe even over $500,000. Really looking forward to this. We're going to be able to pay off our loan. By the way, I've had some questions about the loan, why I'm willing to take a daily loan charge um, instead of just using my own cash. And that is because I can then still leverage my cash. As long as I have a method that pays for whatever loan I'm taking out, I'm okay with operating on that borrowed money. At that point, I'm using someone else's money to make money. And as long as I know that my return is greater than my investment to use that money, I'm okay. And in this case, it is significantly, significantly greater. I mean, $400,000 in total is what we borrowed. And we used some of our own cash, as you should, right? But supplemented with the loan to take most of the burden out, so we still have a significant amount of capital to work with and do things as they go through the year. We have flexibility. So by, oh, by using somebody else's money, I can pay for the insurance that I need when I get T-boned in an intersection. The good news is you can get 15% off when you switch to brother. I can't believe it. Well, you, there's a good reason. All right. Unexpected uh, need needed repairs on our brand new piece of equipment. <laughs> you know, the point is, is as long as I know that whatever I'm doing with that loan is going to yield greater than my investment to maintain that fund, right? To then what I spent to acquire that money from somebody, right? Then I am completely fine working on that money. Debt can be a problem and you need to be careful, but it is a very valuable tool if used correctly. So if you can, with pretty good certainty, know that you are going to yield greater than what it costs you, it is fairly safe. There are risks, just as there's risks to everything, but there is also risk to spending your own capital on something and it not working, right? Either way, it's a risk. Either way, it's going to hurt. But doing it with the loan, the way we've been doing it, subsidized with our own cash, our own capital, I believe has been a pretty decent method. I mean, we're able to grow on somebody else's dollar and we're not making that astronomical so that we can't pay it off. We're using our own funds to make sure that it's a manageable loan. I think we're completely fine. I'm going to keep selling through the night because it is the time to sell. Uh, I won't make you sit through this portion though. So once it's daylight again, I'll tune right back in with you guys. We're closing in on $500,000 right now. We're just a few thousand away. We'll hit it here before the end of the day, I'm sure. And just for fun, before we fully go, we've got 546000 left to roll. And we have, let's take a gander, property income, not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Sold bales so far, $203,000 in sold bales. So we're making good money, boys. And good morning. $608,000 in climbing still. We're not even done. We have yet. Well, let's see. We earned 305000 yesterday, and we have yet another 433 thousand dollars yet to sell so of course we got to go and get the next four hundred thousand dollars in the barns sold which i promise you i will get done but i, I apologize my mouth kind of hurts i need to go lay down and get ready for the dentist i'm in a little bit of a pain so i'm gonna get ready for that in the morning hopefully that's okay i apologize and i promise we will be getting into a lot of really cool stuff especially when 25 launches here i've been talking around with some people 
trying to get some cool stuff going. We'll see where it goes. All right, y'all, we are right back where we had last left off. I promised you guys that I'd pick this up once I got back from the dentist. And finally, I'm able to talk again without being in uh, pain. And we got the rest of our silage bales to clear out of this barn and a little bit out of the next barn there as well. So far, it's been a nice, profitable year. We've got 600,000 right now. We do still have 400,000 uh, debt and um, we will be paying that off once we get all of our income brought in here. It's January 2nd, about 8.30 in the morning. We probably should be checking on our livestock as well. They could use a little feed, but they're due, they'll do for now. So we'll just keep on unloading the silage bales here, get them to wherever they are selling. Last time we had to switch over to the animal dealer, but we'll see where things go from here. I'm trying to think about our next investment because as I said, we really don't have to keep doing silage. I could, if I wanted to maximize profit, same equipment, more land, minimal investment, and we can maximize our, our revenue. However, I agree that we really do need to add something new. So I am currently trying to decide what that will be. I'd like it to be some kind of harvestable crop like soybean in that method or like maybe corn or something like that. Canola, I suppose, would work. I mean, I don't know. Just wondering why I wasn't picking nothing up. It's because I'm full, dummy. See where we got to go sell this stuff here. Uh, biogas is still the top market, but they might be full. There's only one way to find out. That's to drive our happy little hindquarters on over there. What do you say? Part of me is thinking about one of those pieces of land right back there. Very near the store, pretty near our existing farm. It wouldn't be a bad ordeal. I could uh, continue expanding our silage operation while picking up some land. So, like, we could do a mow around the outside or have a part of... Wow, we have a lot of bales left. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I knew I made a lot of bales this year, but I didn't know I made enough to shut down the entire county for two days. It's okay. We'll go sell to somebody else, get our money from them, and we'll keep on contemplating how to spend it, because Lord knows that's one thing I'm good at. There we go, selling our next load. January, cold month, not a lot, not much else going on, but plenty of time to make money, that's for sure. Another $46,000 in our pocket. Never going to complain about that. We've still got another $395,000 worth of silage sitting in our barn over there. So realistically, we could be over a million dollars, probably over a million dollars, by the time we get it all sold. We'll have to put 400000 of that towards that loan that I'd taken out, but I'm okay with that. All in all, that is not bad. That is a lot of money to make just from silage. All right. Next batch of marshmallows on the way, bud. Here we go. We could expand the sheepies. I have to remember to feed the sheepies. That's the hard part. Next batch. Here we go. Hey, everybody on the bus. Come on now. Everybody get your ticket out. Tickets, please. Transporting bales is this is just the this is just the bus sim of farm sim. That's what this is. Next load, everybody. I'm not even gonna bother going over there. We're just gonna go right to the animal dealer. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I don't really want to spend the money on a harvester unless we can find a good deal. So we should just get enough land that it's worth renting a harvester. Hmm? If we do that, that would work. And then all I would need really is a planter, probably, more or less, because I, I could use the planter on this tractor. So by getting enough land to be able to cover the cost of renting a harvester and a planter, we would be able to get into another crop type. I'm not fully convinced it would be as worth it as if we did silage. We'd probably make more money on the silage, but we might be able to do something with the production chains. We might be able to find the product. I don't know. A lot of stuff to figure out, and I'll tell you what I don't have. The answers. All I can do is push this button and make us more money. Watch it. Wee! There it goes. 690. Can we hit 7? Come on, 7! Woo! Yeah! The most casual excited for $700,000. <laughs> All right. Back home. We got way more of this to do. Okay, we have sold every... Wait, hold on. We're saving content. Every single bit of silage. I know it says there's still 270,000 left. That's because... Well, look. Winter's here. Snow. That's because... uh that stuff is still selling as we speak over here at the biogas plant. Oh, I couldn't jump the fence. You guys see our bales? See, 
Another bale's right there, right there. They're still selling. So we are uh, going to continue making money. Another nearly $300,000 in total over the course of the next few days here. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and put some stuff away and talk about our eventual improvements that we're going to be making to the farm. So first thing, I want to absolutely make sure that these animals have some food. A lot of wool sitting over here ready as well. We should probably consider starting to run storage on that stuff and uh if we can expand that and get a spinnery going i would even be maybe that's the other crop we do cotton what do you guys say that would be kind of interesting i'm down actually that one sounds really interesting it, it lines up with what we do kind of really well this is still silage um one second i'm gonna superman this down to the cell point don't mind me <laughs> they've already eaten a lot of it so it's just a really light bale that's why stick it right up there oh 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 stick it right up oh stick it right up there there we go all right back home but yeah what i was saying is uh we've got all of this wool that we're getting so honestly i think cotton would be a really really good addition that would be a fun one something that i haven't done a lot of i'd be curious to try a bit of so first nothing for sale that i can use second a cotton harvester is wow the case one is way cheaper but its bale is a lot smaller i see but even still 485,000 just to buy that lease it is 24.7 okay we'll probably be leasing what does it take to plant cotton what can you that's a planter situation apparently okay so we can probably bust out a big old planter here like a kinsey would work well or something all right all right i like that let's see in the meantime let me make sure i get these sheep a round bale of hay real quick one moment um they might have wanted grass but they're gonna get hay hello i'm here to give this to you if you want it it's yours enjoy oh yeah they wanted it perfect okay so sheep are taken care of we're good there i kind of do like the idea of moving forward with cotton so let's take a look just a little look see around what the land is like so we could extend on this little piece here that'd be uh, 98,000 per hectare uh we'd get 7.4 acres according to that and it's 180.5 thousand dollars we could then get another one hundred and forty thousand dollars in for another 5.8 acres oh what's going on up here this is 16 acres for 391 thousand it's 93 thousand per this is 77 thousand per but it's uh, uh 21 acres and it's 510 thousand that's a lot of money mm -hmm -hmm. that's loam and sandy loam i don't know what cotton prefers gonna be honest with you it's three hundred and ninety one thousand dollars a lot for this mm, what are you whoa a lot of money for you what are you that's not bad 12 acres for three hundred and thirteen thousand three ninety one for 16 that's at ninety three thousand per this was at eighty thousand per kind of want to just buy this one right here the land is not sandy loam and loam if that matters at all um i mean it does but i don't know how i don't know the conditions for cotton so really the price difference between the two is nominal at that point i mean i think this one here is probably a better deal to buy but honestly the price difference just is not great enough that i'm very willing to just buy this piece right here but you know what it might just be total extra because of that grass all the way up there let's go with this one let's just do it my gut tells me it's a better buy so we're probably going to buy this piece of land right here and that is what we will put our uh, cotton field in most likely we were looking at this piece right here oh yeah this would be perfect dude this would be perfect not a problem before we do that we have four hundred thousand dollars i do want to repay so let's just go ahead and get that paid off this is going to take our budget down but it's okay because that budget is still climbing a little bit we have another couple hundred thousand dollars coming in okay paid off our loan 100 percent down to four hundred and fifteen thousand and climbing still going to bring in another two hundred and sixty thousand dollars so we'll still be sitting pretty we'll be close to seven hundred thousand dollars at that point this field will cost us 300 some thousand i think i'm happy with that i think i can work with that overall that's not bad we don't need to buy that field yet though because we cannot plant uh in it yet so one of the things that we can do with the money that we do have is generate a little bit more money until 
or you know what I'm trying to say, up till we uh, are ready for planting our cotton. So I think I'm just going to put one of these right down here for 150000 Um They bring in upwards of $14,000 a month. We have three of them there. I mean, I figured they don't hurt. Stick them down there. Let them make us a little money. So we're down to $259,000 now. Barn one is emptied out. Barn two is pretty much emptied out. And I'll tell you what, we might also consider expanding our sheep a little as well. I have not fully decided. I wanted to paint this in here, but I don't think that's going to happen. For now, we got to get through the rest of winter here so we can get on into planting. So I'm going to let us move past the snowy season and we will get right back to work.